we were laughing and talking about like how we're trying to, um, you know, squeeze Les Mis into the conversation, but it actually fits unbelievably well in light of this conversation because okay. let's I hear it. it. Yeah. Let's hear it. Well, first of all, um, you know, the whole Fontaine storyline about her losing her job because the the foreman had the hots for her because she had a child out of wedlock and all of the ways in which this was terrible and she had no other options but to be a prostitute. I mean, you don't see <laughs> the kind of like terrible choice and and this is this is I mean, this is a sort of a, a uh, operatic Victor Hugo novel from the 1800s, but it it's still rooted in the you know the realities and the realities for women that mm -hmm. it, they're right. you know pregnancy is a huge determinant whether or not you have a kid whether or not you're available as a sexual object it's always been a huge determinant and you know things would have been really different for Fontaine if she had existed in this society and could have been able to watch a salon and learn from it. <laughs>